Welcome back to the kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be making some really easy and delicious Instapot barbecue jackfruit. Now all we're gonna need is one can of a drained and rinsed jackfruit. Now we like to get ours from our local Asian grocery store, but you can pick them up from Trader Joe's or Amazon and definitely check out the Asian grocery stores because we always seem to find them there. Uh, we also have our dry spice mix, which has a teaspoon of garlic, onion, pe garlic and onion powder, pepper and paprika. We also have a fourth of a cup of barbecue sauce. Now I am using my homemade Instapot smoky barbecue sauce, which you can see the recipe for right there if you want to make it. Or if not, you can use really any store-bought barbecue sauce and it will do the job perfectly fine. Now one trick I like to use when using jackfruit is you can go ahead and mash it, and I've done that in past videos, but I like to actually use my food processor. And the key is that I use my dough attachment inside instead of the blades that I normally do my nice cream with. Now, if you use the blades, it will chop it up and make it a kind of a minced texture. This right here is just gonna shred it pretty much perfectly really quickly. So we're gonna get started with just putting our jackfruit in the food processor. And we are just going to turn that on and it's just going to pulse for a few minutes and then we'll uh, be ready to go. So I'll get that started. I'm going to start on low and work my way up. And guys, literally it's that simple. That was 10 seconds. And I hope you can see this, that with this attachment, I don't actually like cut the jackfruit, it just shreds it to a perfect consistency. So all we're going to do is take that and put it into the Instant Pot. Make sure we get it all. Okay. And then we're going to add our dry ingredients. And then our barbecue sauce. All right. Now I like to give it a good stir. Now your jackfruit is going to have some moisture in it while it cooks, so that's going to really break down. So I just want to give it a good mix. All right. And then we are going to take our lid and set it for 15 minutes at a normal pressure level, and we'll be back once that's done. All right, our timer just went off, and I just got done quick releasing the Instant Pot, so now it's time to open it up and see what we got cooking. Oh yeah, that smells delicious. I don't know if you can see how good that looks, but we've got a perfect, pulled pork consistency in an Instant Pot shredded jackfruit. Oh my gosh, I am going to jump in on this. But first I'm gonna clean the kitchen up. I think I'm gonna get a bun to put this on and smother a little barbecue sauce on it, but I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, I am out of the kitchen and I cannot wait to try this barbecue jackfruit that I just got done making in the Instant Pot. I hope you guys saw how easy it is to make. We make this, I don't know, at least once a week. Uh, we'll have it maybe even top some bean burgers with it and have it on some good whole wheat buns. But uh, it's just an easy, simple, cheap, um, great alternative to pulled pork. Now, let's say my wife's father-in-law, or my wife's father, used to be a pork farmer, and the first time that I actually went, made this, I made it for him, he couldn't tell the difference. So I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe. We've got Bella sleeping back there, so she, uh, she might wake up when she sees me eating, but we'll see. But I put a little sriracha and a little more barbecue sauce on it, but the consistency comes out great. And one thing I want you guys to know is that this recipe does amazing if you want to double, triple, quadruple the batch, depending on how many people you're going to be having. If you're hosting a big party, I know I make this uh, for dinner parties. It'll make a big batch with four or five cans of jackfruit, so it's very easy to um, build that recipe up. But... I'm going to give this a quick taste because it looks fantastic. I hope you guys can see that. I put a little sriracha on there too. All guys, 
Nobody's gonna be able to tell the difference in this. You don't tell them it's jackfruit until afterwards and they're gonna be amazed. You tell them before, they're still gonna be amazed. I love this recipe so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna see more plant-based videos just like this one, hitting the subscribe button will do it. If you like this video, you can hit the like button. I'm Plant Based Gabriel with Bella sleeping behind me. I hope you guys had a great time watching this. As much fun as I had cooking it, I'll see you guys soon.